Okay, we have our another integral. This one's from the Swinby 2019 problem 12. We have the integral from zero to infinity of one minus x over x plus one all cubed dx. Okay, this is a problem I already did previously, but I want to do an alternative method on this. Not necessarily faster, but maybe more interesting. So what I want to do on this is a u substitution. And what we're going to do is just use the fact that we've got bounds from zero to infinity. So if I set u equal to one over x, it's gonna have the effect of basically flipping the bounds. So then let's get a value for x. Solving for x, we get x equals one over u. And then take the derivative, dx is gonna be minus one over u squared du. So then go ahead and substitute on this. First, plugging infinity in here, we're gonna have a zero. Then when you plug a zero in here, this is gonna be going off to infinity. 1 minus x is going to become 1 minus 1 over u, and then this is going to become 1 over u plus 1 all cubed. And then we have, for our dx value, we're going to have this over here. But what I want to do with this minus sign is let's take this minus sign, bring it out front, and use it to flip the bounds around. So changing the bounds, now we have this going from 0 to infinity, just like we had it back here. And then instead of just multiplying this in right away, what I want to do is something to kind of clean up. I don't want anything in the denominator like this one over u term. So in order to fix this in the numerator, I'll multiply by u over u here. Then what's going to happen is this is going to become a u cubed. That's going to work nice because this term's cubed. So doing this, multiplying in first the u, we're going to end up with u minus 1 here. Then next, multiplying in u cubed inside the cube root, that's just going to be like multiplying in a u. And that's going to transform this. The first term is going to become 1 and this is gonna become just a u. And actually what I'm trying to do is I wanna add this to our original expression and it's getting to look pretty similar. What we can do is put a label, we'll label this one i. Um, that means everything is gonna be i, but let's do this, let's transform this. Let's do a variable change on this. Just because it's a definite integral, I can change it back to x so we can add these together. And so when I do that, let's just kind of reorder it too. So I'll take a minus sign out here and write this again as minus one over Sorry, changing it back to x. We'll write the numerator as 1 minus x, bring a minus out front. Then here, I'll just flip the order here and write this as x plus 1 all cubed dx. And now what we've done is this right here, this is exactly our original integral. This is our i. And we get the minus sign out front. So if you put it, all of this together, this is actually going to be minus i. So actually, if i is equal to minus i, we can create a little equation over here, i equal to minus i, add i on both sides. Doing that, we end up with just 2i equal to 0, or i equal to 0. Okay, there you have it. Interesting integral from Swinby 2019. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.